All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Assassination, Assassination Classroom. Classroom. Takabayashi time. All right, so this is okay. something that the community has recommended that we react to. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a canon uh, bit of... Uh, focus on a side character, right. specifically Takabayashi, mm -hmm. who I believe is the glasses boy. I think so. Yeah, and yeah. Apparently, it's sort of just a comedy bit, day in the life kind of. Episode. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's it's more it's more content basically with the class three E yep. of them basically just getting to be you know students and stuff. But you know, given that we're getting a little bit of focus probably on a specific character here, it's something that you know is more more or less you know kind of. Uh, L like, like you're saying, probably more comedy focused rather mm -hmm. than about assassinating Koro Sensei. But who knows? Maybe this is all part of his crazy ploy over a long period of time of how he's yeah. figured out a way to do the teacher in. Yeah, and then in canon, it is uh, situated between episodes one and two, right. which makes sense given that the Itana stuff uh, just, just happened in episodes uh, two and three. Which makes sense, right. you know, from the standpoint of okay, when they show the class, Eton is not going to be in it. So that mm -hmm. that 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 tracks, that follows. Yeah. But uh yeah, yeah, let's get to see uh what kind of shenanigans the the students get up to when things are more uh focused on Takabayashi. Indeed. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah. Mm. That would be nice. Shows the moon, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Oh! Wait, really? How? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and he's going all the way to, up to A class. Dang! Wow. Okay. Oh. And is this all a ploy? He's being used. Yeah. yeah uh huh. To turn Classy against each other, show to the school how awful. Classy is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To fulfill the narrative. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. wow. Oh. Spot out. Oh. Wow. I thought this was going to be like a funny episode. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> He can't help but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy the fruits of his labor, you know? Yeah. Uh huh. Kind of gloat to class 3 E, like. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. He looks so genuinely, like, happy mm -hmm. about being accepted yep. back into. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember have we seen Takabayashi in the last couple episodes? I don't remember. Wow. Okay. Aww. One of the knuckles he's cracking there. Yeah. It works somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah right, yeah. right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I love it. Uh. <sighs> hey, your class. Or they were your class. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
首の皮一枚つながったな。チーズ。その一言をもらうために、どれほど血を吐く思いで勉強。Jesus, yeah! This isn't funny, and this isn't comedy. No! Oh! 家族に認められる方が大事なんだ。Yeah! Yeah! 待てよ、竹林君。Well, okay! 神崎さん、やめてあげて、なぎさくん、親の鎖って。Wow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, and Kanzaki、uh, knows all about, about that. Knows all about that. Yep. Well. No, they don't. Jeez. Okay, Koro Sensei. What you gonna How do? Are you gonna help? ウィーグミトはまるでベースが違う。これが英組の授業。英組じゃ一学期でやったところだぞ。しかも、ワーオ。三角関数の点を絞って覚えた方が分かりやすい。おお、マイガー、マイガー、マイガー、マイガー、マ
あ、ああ。わあ。なんか君にはある。ああ。オッケー。This you should like grab your nuts while you do it. Like, like, <laughs> right. like you're like, no way am I gonna like, like you should like flip off mm -hmm. like Asuno, like, like get yep. like, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, Takamiyashi. Oh, was. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Everyone yep. else. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go! We've killed it. あはあ。うん。インディード。ついていました。認められたくて。おお。ずず。イグミの中で役立つので、裏切った僕を。クラスメイトたちは何度も様子を見に来て。おお、マイガード。よし。<笑><笑><笑> ふふしてやあ。いや。ですしょうがい。ちょ、目指す皆さんも正しいと思うし尊敬します。展示してあったものを常で来ました。Wait, what? Oh, baby. Bro, what? Bro! Oh my god! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Looking at you and everyone else. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, get wrecked! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that was so good! Wow. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because then with the pudding stuff, Jacob, with the explosives, remember? Oh! Oh! That's great! Easy. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Wow! I love it! That, that was, was wonderful. That was so good. That was Incredible. Great. That was awesome. Okay. All right. All that right. Was, that was All fantastic. Right. Okay. Absolutely worth comedy, it. my ass. Yeah. What the hell? That, man? Was... that wasn't comedy. That was just emotional gold. Yep. That was amazing. Yeah, that, that was, was so good. That was that was quintessential, that was... perfect yep. little mm -hmm. extra character focus. Takabayashi. Just. Well, just well oh, done. Well yes. done. That was you do oh. us nerds so just freaking mm -hmm. good. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Freaking and bloody <sighs> awesome geek you. You. Oh. Yes. And you here go I and thought. make those AMV parodies so that you yep. can study better. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You go and take that <sighs> speech that they gave you doing and burn it up in front of them, flipping them the double birds, and then smashing the the best principal well, you award. You stole that out of his office yep. while they were like, there. I, like, there's no places really to hide in that office. You that know, guy. But yeah, that guy. Yeah. Perfect assassination. Yes, yeah. perfect. Indeed. Like, and yes. and oh my god, I think I have a new favorite line from this show. <gasps> when Koro Sensei was talking to Takebayashi, mm -hmm. and he was saying, "Listen, there's a part of you that's chained yourself up. You're killing yourself every day, right? Mm -hmm. But I know." That you're the kind of person yeah. who can one day kill that side of you. Oh. But it's an assassination, so don't worry. 
Don't rush yourself. Take your you, time. Take your time. I'll be there waiting for you. And if you in ever the need shadows, help, you know, if you need yeah. help or anything, yeah. Like that is Oh my god. That is so good. That is so good because okay. The whole idea of classy, right? That's good stuff yes. that I feel like people need yes. to hear and I'm sure in Japan in particular, you know, because of how the school systems and everything it would resonate there. quite strongly. Exactly, right. Yeah. But one of the things that I feel like isn't addressed as much because the mm. underdog story that's that's a that's a that's a fairly common thing right totally. this is a really good rendition of it but you know underdog stories are fairly common mm -hmm. but the idea of being patient with yourself while you're doing your yes. underdog battle right uh -huh. that is something uh -huh. that i feel like we don't it's not as interesting in fiction to see yep. because we want to see the underdog triumphing, right? You know, Immediately, ascending as fast and, and as possible. Exactly, Whoa, this meteoric rise this hidden yeah. within him. And then it's like, wait, no, that sort of no. What what was the point of the the whole underdog thing again? Yeah. Yeah. And so the idea here of him being patient with himself because everything yeah. that the school does, all of that stuff, everything that society does. You know, or his parents of saying, "Oh, you're worthless, terrible, all that stuff." How do we even feed you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. God, it's awful, but nowhere near as bad and insidious as the kind of stuff that he then internalizes and tells to himself, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where the battle is truly won. Yep. And if you can do that, then then what is everything else that could possibly stand against him? <laughs> what? Like yeah, Takabayashi? No, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> nothing. You know, yeah. yeah, you're nothing. You're nobody. Like so, so the fact that Koro Sensei was able to tell this to him there. Yeah. God, I I love that so Koro much. Koro Sensei's like, amazing. Like that's the kind of thing that I I want to to keep as a quote, mm. even though it doesn't really work as well out of context. But, True. I got you, know, you though. But but no, like it, keep it. It was amazing. Put that on a plaque. Put that shit on a plaque and hang it mm -hmm. on on your wall because yeah. that's the kind of thing that you don't ever want to forget. Oh. Because I know for myself personally, Same. I definitely get on my own case about it. I definitely get Why pissed at I myself. Why haven't I figured this out yet? Why haven't I figured this out yet? I've been working yeah. on this all my time. And and phrasing it instead of oh, it's just taking you a long time versus no 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 no. Mm. This is an assassination. Yes. You're setting everything up mm -hmm. you're getting ready for that perfect strike it it, it the time might not be now yeah. and a good assassin will know when is the right time to strike right they won't get hasty about it yep you know yep. and so yeah yeah i i, I really and all that that's line. prep work yep i mm -hmm. think that's one of the things that's really powerful about this episode with regards to the time the value and the idea of like the powerful dynamic versus the um kind of the freedom dynamic, mm -hmm. I guess, that they kind of threw in here. Because what the principal is setting up is him to put out the narrative that those unruly students mm -hmm. are so disgusting and slovenly. And yep. just, ugh. But a lot of the things that they were bringing up are just simple struggles that sure. a lot of people go through. And yes. when I say simple, it's I'm not, not just meaning class that it's, e. a, it's not that it's a simple solution, but I mean more that it's common. Mm -hmm. Like a lot right. of people deal with this. And we yep. saw, I love that they did this. This is so cool to have Takabayashi go in there and realize that this is just a piss poor teacher. It's uh -huh. not that class A is actually that tough. Right. It's that class A is being taught poorly because he doesn't care about the students. Thus, thus, the kind of things of like, you know, just staring at the blackboard, writing things down, erasing them, writing mm -hmm. things down, erasing them, not yep. interacting with any of them, mm -hmm. basically keeps them in a frantic state of note-taking, yep. whereas he's like... Harder um, does not mean better. Yeah, harder does not mean, mean better or smarter. He's like, mm -hmm. I learned all this in the first semester. Like, I'm done with this. Right. I'm ahead of you guys because I got personalized mm -hmm. teaching. Now, Koro Sensei has a superpower yep. that allows him to break the laws of physics and exactly. all that. So that makes sense. Right. But Takabayashi is not a superhero. Mm -hmm. He's a regular ass human being yep. that doesn't even know how to study properly. Right. He needs a goddamn anime opening parody video to allow him to learn the trigonometry functions with sine, cosine, and uh, tan. Ta Tan tangent? No, no. It, uh, wait, is it tangent? It's it's cos, sine, and tan. That's, that's yeah, yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I learned right. that stupid stuff my own way. But the, the but yeah, it's cos, yes. cos, sin, tan. I'm I'm 99% sure that's it. Right. I feel like it is. I just 
Yeah, yeah. I it's been a long time. At, I sucked at math, by the way. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that specifically made me suck at math was that when geometry and trig and all these other kind of uh, less um, function-based mm -hmm. mathematical stuff came into play, where it was more proofs and things like that, I didn't have personalized teaching anymore. Mm. The ways I was getting taught primarily were from a, a standpoint that was much more kind of generalized, and I didn't really have an easy way to ask questions and get a lot of my stuff kind of figured out. Yep. So I kind of stuttered a lot in those classes. I had to retake geometry three times! And the third time doesn't even count. It was a summer course that was specifically, a, you need to get this before the next school year starts. Wow. Because y you're just not getting it. Gotcha. And that was the time when I got my personalized teaching. Because thankfully, I have an awesome dad that was willing to give me at the very least like 20 to 30 minutes every night to go over a lot of my geometry stuff. And I finally got it. And it was funny how fast I got it comparatively to all the Once two years. Once you had years. someone that was actually yeah. there to talk with about yeah. it. But all the other stuff... No, yeah, it was something that, that 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 came easily, or something that wasn't as wasn't as difficult and stuff. But the amount of the amount of value that there is in having someone that's going mm -hmm. genuinely patience, cares. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. Yep. it's not the end of the world if you don't get this. Right. Like, like. Yeah. You're it, not gonna miss out on some element of acceptance or something mm -hmm. just because. You you capped out at you know ninth grade or tenth grade math or something right. like that. There was a um yeah. there was something I heard I, I I don't know what it was from so I, I'm not entirely sure that this is real but I, I believe it is yeah um where there was a teacher that was brought in and they were given a class that was the problem class yeah. right and and it was and in not like, a great teacher on Izuka no no but it's a similar yeah. kind of situation yeah. where it's the it, but but not at like a prestigious school. So it's right. it's the underfunded and things like that, right? And they bring in this teacher and they say, okay, so there is this class that's hyper gifted. Mm. We we want you to teach them. Do you think you're up for that? And they're like, okay, that feels like a big responsibility, but okay. Right. The class wasn't super gifted, mm. but they told them that. Yeah. Because they told them that when the students weren't getting the material, the teacher was then like. Oh shit! I must be doing something wrong, right? Because these are super gifted students. So my what, problem must be with me, not with the students. The problem must be with me, not with mm -hmm. the students. How can I adjust to the students to that's make genius. it to, to to pull out the genius that I know is in there? God, that's right. Ugh. And and yeah, there you go. You know, it worked way better. <sighs> so I, yeah, you yeah. love to see a teacher doing this kind of stuff really well. Mm -hmm. But then the really cool thing is when. It's not only something that they're doing really well, it's something that their peers are doing a really good job of helping them with. Because this is something that's kind of like uh, relatable with regards to Takabayashi is that all of us here, we love anime. Mm -hmm. But there's that little bit of lack of acceptance maybe we sometimes feel at times for liking a thing that generally speaking, most people don't really find interesting, but yeah. also not, not as only, bad as it was 20 years ago, but yeah, you know. but also maybe not even just a lack of acceptance, but maybe a little bit of like negative uh -huh. regarding it where it's like, oh, oh yeah. And then there's that disassociation, that right. separation and yeah, stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Where, something that you need to prove that, like, no, 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 I, I'm still a fun I'm person still a to hang out with. Normal human being, guys. I'm right. not crazy. Uh -huh. Please, yeah. like, let's be friends. Don't the, don't pay no attention to the Dakimakura, You know, right? right. <laughs> yeah, but but but. For those of you that have experienced this, do you remember that time where you had that first genuine friend who wasn't interested in anime that sought to connect with you via the anime? Yeah, that. That was something that only happened to me once, and it was really something else. Because mm -hmm. most people that I know that are into anime, I didn't get them into anime. They were right. already into anime, and I was just lucky to find them in my life and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, Jacob was into anime before I was. So, like, that was an example of what Yeah, it, it kind of like, it happened in, like, slightly staggered, but basically in parallel for both of us, which is very helpful. Yeah, because yeah, I was in school, and you were mm -hmm. back at home and stuff. But, yep. like, the... The, the timing of it was rather convenient in that regard. But, like... And and I will like, tell you, mm. there was a long time where, I, like, mm. before I was fully comfortable with that, yeah. even not necessarily just anime, right. but, like, 
I remember I was watching like American Dragon, Jake Long, because I, I I heard that it was the, uh, the same. Um, May Whitman and Zuko. Yeah, Dante May Whitman Bosco. and and Dante Bosco, right? Yep. And I was like, oh, okay, I want to kind of check this out. That sounds like yeah. it could be fun, yeah. right? But it was very obviously not the same tone as like Avatar: The Last Airbender, right? Because you know you watch Avatar: The Last Airbender, and if someone thinks that's silly, they're they're just crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. You know. But with this, I was like, I, I wasn't saying. fully sure if I could like be confident in watching this no. so it was very much something where it was like okay don't let anyone see that i'm watching this kind of a thing oh. you know because because you know i don't know right yeah but it's so i don't know and that was a long time ago that was too. a long long time long time ago yeah you know but yeah i this is this is the kind of thing where my my heart goes out to these kids because yeah. because they're in a situation that I would hope no one would have to be in, but I know that a lot of people are in. Totally. Right? And even if they're not actually in that situation, they might just be afraid that they're in that situation, mm. or potentially even worse, is that in this kind of situation, the principal and Asano, they are so obviously just awful, mm. right, that you can fight it. But when it's not quite as clear, you don't know, especially when you're young and impressionable, whether the problem is with them or if the problem's with you, mm. right? So it's the thing of let's say, let's say I could I could totally see this happening where maybe the principal gives a speech, you know, to to a kid in a similar situation, but it's not quite as extreme. He's not uh, telling him to call the, them those people absolute garbage and you know right. and despicable human beings and things like that. Yeah, but it still has that tone, mm -hmm. right? It's still basically just doing propaganda for for you know whatever reason, right? Right. You might feel like it's, oh, no, I'm just being picky. I'm being, you know, it's it's mm. my fault, right? I'm the one who's crazy kind of a right. thing. And it's like, no. That, Oof. Not not necessarily, right? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I love this kind of stuff. Even though it's it's very simple stuff that they're getting into here. Yeah, you know? but it's just so but it, it's sweet. It's so good. Awesome. It's so good. Yeah. So, well, so thank you yeah. guys for recommending this to us. This mm -hmm. this was something that I was I was worried was potentially, you know, filler of some kind, but uh -huh. you know, our, but our no, editor this, was very good at reminding us that like no, no, no! This is something that is very much like you, you something should, you, you should, should watch, check it out. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, like, all right, at the very least, it'll probably be funny. Yeah, it'll like, have something... like it'll be really quality humor. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. No, we were not expecting this. Oh my and god! It was so good. Yeah, so this was, this was awesome. Thank this you awesome. so much for watching mm -hmm. this uh, reaction and discussion. If you yep. want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. Yes, so uh, we stream Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time for each of those days. Mm -hmm. Mondays is podcast. Tuesdays is One Piece dramatic manga readings. Wednesdays and Fridays, Caleb's doing gaming. Right, I'm playing Hades right now, which will be followed up with Cyberpunk 2077 once it comes out. Yep, and then I'm doing gaming on Thursday, which right now is Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.